Hi, in this video for templated export I want to show you how you can reshape and download other people's data, not just your own. So a great source of um, lots of very nice Google spreadsheets of useful stuff is the Guardian Data Store. Um, uh, so they have a lot of Google spreadsheets with different bits and pieces of, of data in. So I've got one here which they've published which is the, um, the first day bombing on the London Blitz. Um, so this this is published um, to anyone with the link. So um, this is the Guardian's copy of the data. So I can just take the spreadsheet key, and I've got one I've prepared earlier. So I can take the spreadsheet key in the source range, and then I can write my own wrapper for this data. So I've got I've already inserted the prefix and the row template. So we can see the available cells. They're a bit horrible just because. Um, they're, they're using some annotations in the, the headings, but that's still okay. We can pull those in. So we're using a row index just for a place mark ID. Uh, and then um, what we're getting is mainly just pulling in different parts of the KML um, that we're generating here. And the tricky one was just on the date. So we wanted to change the date which was um, hours and minutes into uh, a date for the 7th of September. So we're just um, doing some Unix uh, manipulation there. So um, once I've done all that, um, I could publish it as a URL so that anyone else could um, have access to this. Um, be but because I'm using this in Google Earth, I'm going to export. So I'm going to get a link for that. Um, one of the, unfortunately, uh, there is no MIME type uh, for KML in um, Google Spreadsheet, uh, Google Apps Script yet, so I just need to change that to KML and then pull up. Google Earth and there we have it so if I just spread this out and zoom in on London you'll see we've got all our markers for all the bombs and we can because it's Google Earth we can filter these down so there you go, that's how you can use um, templated export to reshape someone else's data and then export it out. 